Well, President Trump has been a month in office, and America has not become a totalitarian death state just yet. Regardless, some are still trying to ignite an uprising to throw him out of power. A group called Refuse Fascism says its goal is to, quote, drive the Trump-Pence regime out. They describe it as illegitimate, a cabal of, quote, white supremacists, women haters, science deniers, religious fundamentalist zealots, and warmongers who will eventually start a nuclear war. We're joined now by Sinsara Taylor. She's an organizer with Refuse Fascism. Sinsara, thanks for joining us. So I was reading your, um, your manifesto tonight, and, and you said this, the Trump regime is a fascist regime, no insult or exaggeration, that's what it is. For the future of humanity and the planet, we the people must drive this regime out. So I'm assuming you're not a, a moderate, necessarily. But the obvious question arises, which is, if it's a fascist regime, how are you on this show? Look. Donald, we're facing an emergency. Humanity yeah. is facing an emergency. A fascist regime has seized the reins of power in the most powerful, actually the sole superpower in the world. The Trump and Pence are operating out of Hitler's playbook, only they have nuclear weapons. And what RefuseFascism.org is saying to the world is that while it's beautiful, it's righteous that millions of people have stood up in protest and continue to do so. And by the way, since I know he sometimes watches, President Trump, if you're watching, way more people have protested than were at your Nazi inauguration. But while this is beautiful, this resistance needs to grow, and people need to confront that this is a fascist regime that could drop the hammer and close down. It's working aggressively to close down the space for people to stand up and resist. And so, in the name of humanity, seven billion on this planet, we need to pour into the streets and say, no, we refuse to accept a fascist America, we refuse to accept this for the world, and we must drive them out. We need to stay it, in the streets. I mean, so many questions come to mind, but the obvious one is this. I always thought that the day somebody got up, a Republican, and said, you know what, we've got to focus on jobs, no more pointless wars in the Middle East, and by the way, I'm a secular guy, they would say, you know, it's kind of my kind of Republican. You know, I mean, a man who campaigned and said, I long for the days when protesters were dragged out on stretchers, who offered to pay the bills of people who assaulted protesters at his rally. Donald Trump is a fascist. That's okay. out of Hitler's playbook. This, so, is, so, this is a danger to humanity. Okay, so and yes, it's in its early that, stages, but people okay. need to rise up and stop it before it is too late. Okay, so, but uh, I want to get to that. Rise up and stop it. So I'm assuming that, I mean, you're not serious. I mean, this is like play acting for you. If you really thought he was Hitler, if you really believed that he was acting according to, as you said, the playbook of Hitler, then you wouldn't stop with going on a cable show. I mean, you'd go all the way, wouldn't you? I mean, you don't really think that. Or you'd be committing acts of violence, right? I absolutely think. Actually, he's not like Hitler. He has a Twitter feed, he has that ugly orange thing on top of his head, and he has nuclear weapons, the biggest nuclear arsenal in the world. And people better wake up, because he is more dangerous than Hitler ever but could if have you, been. But, I mean, let's just Absolutely. be real for a second. No, I know we're on TV, but please be real. If you on, really you, thought hold on, that... Hold on, I mean, you, implied, on. you implied something, and I want to answer it. You implied that I'm going to do something that's untoward, whatever. I'm calling for mass political protest and resistance building on what's happened and staying in the streets in the name of humanity before the man starts he asked three times if i have nukes why can't i use them no i this can see your mass I, incineration of human I, I, okay, beings on an I get industrial it. I can scale see that you're, i can see your spun up here humanity. but let's just be more specific because i, I want to take you seriously i assume you're being serious hard as it is to believe when you use rhetoric like he's hitler he's going to incinerate the world no i How said are you nuclear stop weapons him? are the mass incineration of human well, beings. Well, sure, okay. The but, 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 oh, sure. You think Nukes he could are no big deal world. for you. I know you like to carry water for the liar in chief. <laughs> I know you like to justify and rationalize <laughs> the sexual predator me. in chief. But I don't think this is a joke. This is for humanity, and he is dangerous. But what are you going to do about are... it, Sinsara? That's my question. Other than like jump around in the street with a sign in your hand, okay, no, and write your little manifesto. Refusefascism.org you really has a manifesto, as you said. Refusefascism.org. Yeah. We say we have four things people should do. They should manifest the no. They should protest every outrage and okay. crime. But we have to have a single unifying objective. And the people who are waking up in this country who are horrified by this man with his finger on the nuclear weapon. We need to recognize that he has to be driven from office through mass political resistance before it is too late. Fascism advances through stages. Okay, Shock, awe, this violence, is silly. You and don't then periods of normalization. It, with it, political it, resistance, but whatever, you may not know actually that. Actually, it would have taken millions and millions to rise up to stop Hitler. It but, but absolutely you, would have. But what do you and think, it's what people should have done. Okay, may I ask you a real question? I, it I is get shameful it. for You're you to outraged, me. But hold on, I know it's shameful, but let me oh, ask you this. Oh, it's no, funny this is to your question. So this no, because million... I know you love to carry water for this criminal, okay, this okay. war criminal wannabe in okay. chief. 
Right. He's but itching. Were, but hold on. You find it's that a petty matter? There, there were 62. Tucker, you find that petty? You find Look, that a petty concern that real, he wants to I, I know that you're it very petty, but I'm trying to ask Nuclear you a real question. Are Don't make me cut you off. I just want to ask you. Okay. Well, let me ask you one last question, okay? 62 million people voted for Trump, and disproportionately, they were people at the lower end of the income scale. Oh, they were, God. They, well, they were, actually. They were middle class and below, mostly. Opposed to Trump were, I don't know, the hedge fund managers and privileged people like you. Did you ever think you to yourself, like, why about is the Can middle I tell you something? Class, he lost well, the popular vote. To... He lost the popular okay, vote, and no election fair or he fraudulent. Did. No election but fair or fraudulent had... can justify ripping up the please, rule of law, please undermining the courts, court. threatening the and shutting down You're the press. You're saying that you should throw a duly elected president out of office. No, I'm so saying people be should the resist. Rule of law. The, yes, that's what he means when he says so-called judge. That's what he means when he fires an right. attorney general who disagrees Look, with his I laws. Do, what I want to do what is get to, to do how is you think. What you want to do is normalize fascism. Right. What you want to do is try to I'm caricature and dismiss people who are telling the truth. Thanks, though. Tried.